Israeli and U.S. officials fear imminent Iranian retaliation to last week's embassy compound attack, with U.S. officials telling media that Tehran might target military sites inside Israel, with over 100 drones and dozens of missiles, and the White House expressing hope that the response will not draw the U.S. into the fray directly. With its defense industry rising from the ashes of the bloody Iran-Iraq War of the 1980s, the Islamic Republic slowly established its reputation as one of the world's leading missile and drone powers. With the country's defense scientists creating over 50 different drone designs and counting, from short-range tactical UAVs and loitering munitions to rocket and propeller-powered long-range reconnaissance, attack and electronic warfare drones. Mindful of the experience of arms embargoes and sanctions on its defense sector, Iran prides itself in the development and production of armaments, with an extremely high rate of indigenization of components, and when it comes to drones, has created both homegrown designs and projects reverse-engineered from American and Israeli UAVs, which made the mistake of flying into the Islamic Republic's airspace. With dozens of designs to choose from, it's difficult to narrow down which drones, if any, Iran may end up using for its revenge attack against Israel. Complicating matters is the difficulty of determining where the attack comes from. The distance between the westernmost areas of Iran and the Jewish state ranges between 1,000 and 1,300 kilometers. However, thanks to a network of state and non-state allies in the region, the distance between potential Israeli targets and drone launch points can shrink to as little as 100 kilometers. The Hisa Karer, lit. Violent attacker, constitutes a family of versatile, jet-powered UAVs first introduced in 2010, and widely believed to have taken design cues from the Beechcraft MQM-107 streaker. Created primarily as a target drone by the military and the IRGC for target anti-air and anti-missile target practice during drills, the Karer has become a universal UAV, thanks to the ingenuity of Iranian defense scientists. Who have converted variants of the drone to carry 225 kg bombs, anti-ship missiles and torpedoes, satellite-guided glide bombs, and even air-to-air -air missiles. The Karer can accelerate to speeds of up to 900 km per hour during flight, and has a reported range of up to 1,000 km on a one-way mission. The drones weigh 700 kg, are 4 meters long, and have a 2.5 meter wingspan. Unlike their MQM-107, which have a bottom-mounted engine, carers are equipped with a top-mounted turbojet engine design. Carers have reportedly found their way into the hands of Lebanon's Hezbollah militias and have been used by allies of the Assad government against terrorists through the course of the CIA-led dirty war against Syria in the 2010s. Meanwhile, Iran's Erna news agency quoted a commander of the air defense in the eastern region of Iran as saying that the success of the operational test of armed drones with air combat capabilities led to a significant improvement in the air defense capability and had a direct impact on increasing the strength of deterrence. The agency noted that the Majid Air Defense Missile, a domestic product, is equipped with advanced thermal and optical seekers, greatly enhancing its tracking and interception capabilities. It added that the Carer drone succeeded in its operational tests during military exercises held in October.
For its part, FARS news agency reported that the drone was delivered to the southwestern air defense zone in the presence of a gathering of military commanders in the city of Mashar. Last Sunday Iran said it has reinforced its air defense capabilities by adding combat drones equipped with air-to-air -air missiles to its arsenal. The drones, with an operational range of up to 1,000 kilometers (620 miles), were exhibited during a televised ceremony organized at a military academy in Tehran, in the presence of the commander-in-chief of Iran's army, General Abdulrahim Mousavi. Far said that the locally made Karar drone which has been equipped with the Majid thermal missile, can destroy enemy aircraft at a much lower cost than manned combat aircrafts. The agency added that the drone has an ability to fly at an increased speed, to carry all types of missiles, and to higher flight level.